ChatGPT tasks are one of the more underrated brand new features from OpenAI that I think could help you and your business succeed in 2025. It's not what I would call a game changer feature just yet, but it has the inklings of something that once it connects to multiple integrations like calendars and other tools can become unbelievably potent. The goal of this video is to show you how you can use ChatGPT tasks in five practical ways, whether you're an entrepreneur, someone who works in a business or a business owner. And by the way, if you don't even know what ChatGPT tasks are, I'll show you how they work, where you can find them in ChatGPT, and most importantly, how to use them. So if you go into ChatGPT and you go on the drop down, you'll see this brand new feature that's called GPT-40 with scheduled tasks in beta. And you'll also see on the right hand side, if you click on your profile, you'll see this section here that says tasks beta again, where you can click on it. And this will allow you to see the lists of your tasks to be able to edit them, delete them after you've actually created them. So if you actually wanna start and create your own from the get go, you can go on try your own here. It'll take you to a chat where you're basically supposed to prompt it in a very specific way. And the prompts are along the lines of something very basic, which is provide me with X in Y time horizon with Z details. So in this case, it would be like, so if we're taking a very layman's terms interpretation, we could say, remind me every Friday to create a bulleted list of ways I can be a better business owner for my company that does AI automation consulting and custom development. Okay, so we'll, I'll say, remind me on Friday at 12 p.m. EST, and this should only occur every Friday. Right, I was a bit repetitive there, but it should say that it's creating a task. So now it's quote unquote created that task and scheduled it. But there's one hiccup, and this is in beta, which this is my prompt, but it now interpreted my prompt to write a succinct version of that prompt. So if you click on this little card here, it created an interpretation of what I said. So I'd like to double check this to make sure it's actually working as expected. So let's say, tell me to create a bulleted list of ways I can be a better business owner for my company that does AI automation. So in this case, it did a good job of keeping what I wanted intact. Now, if I wanted to simulate this to run in the next minute so we can see what it looks like, I can say, what time is it now? Okay, so let's say, can we actually schedule it to run a minute from now? Okay, and we run that. It should update the task and it's still on next Friday at 12 p.m. So what we can do and what I noticed with this tasks feature is if you wanna create a new task, ideally create a new chat, especially if you wanna create multiple tasks. Create one chat per task. So let's do this in a new chat here. Okay, let's go back to tasks. Can we schedule a minute from now a motivational poem on how I can be a better business owner? Okay, so this should create something a minute from now. Okay, so let's go here. Okay, so that's good. So in a minute from now, it should work. So within that minute, we got an email from OpenAI telling us that it's ready to go, this little reminder. We also got a notification on my phone here from the ChatGPT app that it's ready to go. And if we actually go and follow through on the view message and we refresh the tab, you'll see that it creates this poem. So it's basically a scheduled prompt. And if you are technical, even remotely, it's very similar to what's called a cron job, where you schedule something to execute in the future. So this on its own is not quote unquote groundbreaking. However, you can start to do things that are pretty clever where you can conduct analysis in the future that's pre-scheduled and allows you to one, reflect about yourself, reflect about your business, and more importantly, reflect about your competition. So let's get into some more tactical tasks. So if we open a new tab here, I created a cheat sheet for you on exactly how you should structure these prompts to be very succinct, very to the point. So you'll have this entire cheat sheet available to you as well as a custom GPT that you can use where you can say promptify my task and you can say something like, I want a reminder, wow, caps, um, on how 
to evaluate my employees by creating a new engagement survey every two weeks, okay? And let's just say promptify my task. Let me just copy paste this. We'll say promptify my task. We'll paste this, okay? And uh, yeah, it's unfortunate. It's in caps, but we should be okay. Let's just paste this here. And if it wants to clarify a bit, it can. And I'll just say, uh, don't worry about the clarification, make up the format yourself. Okay, so it should be able to draft something now. So please create a bi-weekly scheduled task to design a new employment survey. The survey should focus on employee satisfaction, productivity, teamwork, and areas for improvement. And then it'll go through what the output should look like. So the output of the survey should be in bulleted list format for easy use. So these are two resources I'll make available for all of you in the Gumroad link in the description below. Now, if we go to our cheat sheet here, let's take the very first one. So this is a very cool one where since ChatGPT, assuming you've enabled the memory feature that learns about you over time, it will learn different things about you, your business over time. So one thing you can do is this, instead of having to subscribe to newsletters to tell you about the AI news that are filled with ads, you can actually generate and create your own tailored newsletters that only show you news that's relevant either to you, your interests, or both, plus the line of your business, so the area of your business. So you can see here, we can go to this and then paste it into a brand new schedule chat and say, please create a, choose the cadence here, so let's say monthly, schedule task to summarize the latest AI developments most relevant to me, you know, and I can say Mark. And yes, you can rely on your memory or custom instructions to basically impute all the information about you, but I like to reinforce in the prompt to make sure it's fully captured. So you can say, I am the owner of Prompt Advisors, focusing on generative AI. I also do secondary roles. So I can take this out. But in general, you can send this now, and what you wanna do is make sure that the task prompt mimics exactly where you're going for. So this should create this task, and tell it to summarize the latest A developments, most relevant to me, Mark. Okay, so this seems okay, and let's say I didn't like it later, I can go back to here, go back to tasks, and then click on this summarize developments, go to the pencil icon, and then just edit it from here. So we should be good on that front. And then if we go back to our chat here, the next thing we can do is we can do a competitor website watchdog. So what's interesting is because it's basically scheduling a prompt, that prompt, because it's using GPT-40, is able to search the web. So if you say something like this, where we copy and paste this prompt here, we can say, please create a monthly scheduled task or weekly or daily, whatever you really choose where you review changes on certain websites. So you could put an actual competitor website here, identify any shifts in their product offerings, key messaging, or if you care about SEO and SEO rankings, looking for certain keywords, or business model. Provide a concise summary comparing it to last month, along with insights on how this might affect my own strategy. So that's a second one that you can use, which might be super helpful for some competitive intelligence. Now, if we go to another one, so you could also use price monitoring here. So that could be a third one. So please create a scheduled task that checks my main competitor's pricing pages, competitor A, competitor B. Now you might wanna be very intentional about the names of these competitors, just so that the search GPT properly finds them. Note any changes in price, discounts, or promotions, and summarize these changes and offer a brief analysis on how they could influence my pricing approach. Now, one other very cool idea that I came up with was this new partnership and collaboration opportunities. So especially if you are in the world of marketing or affiliate marketing, or even you're trying to just look for partnerships that might pop up in your industry, especially if you're in the AI industry where there are brand new startups and companies every single day, this might be a very cool one where you say, please create a scheduled task to search for potential partnerships or collaboration ideas in my industry, summarize any relevant announcements, up and coming startups, or 
complementary businesses and suggest ways that I could reach out to partner with them. And one thing you can do, by the way, is you can not only just copy paste this into tasks, you can literally say, if you don't want to wait for it to schedule to run, you can just say, can you simulate the possible output for this task? And you should be able to get some semblance of what it will look like. Now, it won't necessarily be 100% like it. Um, the best way to know is just to test it and just make it a minute from whenever you're testing it. But if you want to do a quick simulation, that's one way you can do so. So one prompt for a scheduled task that I didn't include on the cheat sheet that I just came up with was being able to leverage the fact that ChatGPT collects memory about you to ask it based on what you've learned about me. And since this evolves over time, assuming you're not clearing your memories over time, every month you could say, based on what you know about me and how I work, et cetera, and my business, depending on whether you use it to solve business problems, what do you think are a few things I should be improve about either myself, my business, or both? And that might be something so proprietary to your specific chat history and memory that it's very useful because every month you'll get a little reminder to humble you or to encourage you on what you could change based on all of the interactions it has with you on a daily basis. So that's a special little Easter egg I'll give to you there. One last one I'll show you is this one, which is upcoming industry events and conferences calendar. So what would be interesting and something that I used to do a lot more heavily is constantly look for networking events, especially in the AI space. So for me, I'm in Canada, I could say, create a scheduled task that looks for a list of upcoming generative AI or AI conferences in Toronto or Montreal or Quebec City that are within the next three weeks. And then this is a really good use case to use Search GPT to actually go and look for those conferences or events in upcoming dates and then create a comprehensive list for you that are literally delivered to your inbox. Yes, you could probably schedule this using some form of software like Zapier, Make, or N8N, but it doesn't really get easier than just using natural language to do something that otherwise would take you probably 20 minutes to half an hour. So this is just scratching the surface of what I think ChatGPT tasks will be able to do in the future. When you have ChatGPT tasks able to connect to calendars and other tools that it can actually call, you'll not only have natural language tasks or scheduled prompts in the future, you'll be able to execute entire workflows without creating them in a workflow automation tool just by connecting some microservices. At least that's what I think they're gearing at with this feature and probably three to six months from now, I'm hoping and I think I'll be proven right that this feature will be a lot more influential than just creating some form of reminders for you or summarizing some form of information on a weekly or monthly cadence. Again, you'll find the link to the resources in the description below and let me know in the comments if this is helpful for you and what you'd like to see in the future. And if you are a business owner looking to join a serious community about generative AI in 2025, feel free to sign up for our waitlist in the description below. I'll see you all next time.